Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I got the 2016 F350 parked in the garage here behind me. And uh, if you remember back, first thing I did do it was a cab light install. If you missed that video, link in the description below, go check it out. Now, when I was finished with the cab lights, I also made some uh, light bars with some LED lights in them that went below, they go below the doors and just above the running boards. If you missed that, again, uh, link in the description below. So there's one more thing I want to do and I want to put just a few more lights on it because I am kind of a redneck and I just like those sorts of things. So this is what it is. It's a back rack and uh, it goes behind the rear window, mounts to the front of the pickup bed. Your high mount stop lamp would be in this area right here. Um, should look pretty good back there. And again, I'll just put just a few more lights on this. Hopefully not get ridiculous. But um, And I got the uh, two inch uh, riser kit for clearance around the tunnel cover that I have on the back of the truck. So between the rack and the riser brackets, I should be able to get some of these uh, LEDs put on. Got a bunch of these uh, single diode units. They're uh, amber colored and red colored, made by the Peterson Manufacturing Company. These are uh, great, great lights made in the USA. The part number for the amber ones here is V171A, and then the part number for the reds is V171R. So with all this stuff, uh, Combined, I'll get the back rack put on. Hopefully not get too ridiculous with the lights, but I like lights, so let's get started. So the first step is to decide where I want the lights to be. You can see I put some painter's tape on here to make some marks, and uh, I decided I'm just gonna do some red ones along this bottom bar facing to the rear. I had uh, wanted to do some ones on the uprights, but if you consider uh, what they'd look like in conjunction with all the other lights that are already on the truck, that would just be getting to be a little bit much, so. We'll do these red ones, like I said, facing to the rear just on the bottom bar, and you drill a three-quarter diameter hole. The rubber grommet goes in the hole, and the light is secured by the grommet. And what I like about these is they're going to be basically flush with the surface here, so you'd get minimal red glare off to the side. So that's why I like these style lights for this. I'm going to do three running lights spaced six inch apart in the middle with a running light way out here on the end and another running light out here. Now these three other locations on each end are going to be for uh, right turn, left turn, and brake. That's the only time they are gonna be in operation. So that's my plan, I'm gonna start drilling holes. And with that, I got all the holes drilled. Um, I didn't bother showing that part, but uh, I also put a couple of half inch holes down here on the bottom at either end for the uh, circuits. The wires are gonna have to go in here and power all these lights. Uh, next step now is to deburr the rough inside edges of these holes as to uh, reduce the uh, chance of any wires chafing on any sharp metal, and then touch up that bare metal with some black paint. So I'll get those steps, steps completed, and then we'll uh, move on and maybe look at mounting some other amber colored lights. Now to talk about those other lights I mentioned just a second ago. I've got these two riser brackets that lift the back rack two inches for it to clear the tonneau cover. And they have these nice flat surfaces that face out and uh, tip inward just a little bit at the top. So any nice flat surface area that faces out is good for more lights. So I'm going to do uh, some more of these uh, round amber lights out on these. I got these spaced uh, one and one quarter inch apart, kind of low toward the bottom so that I can still utilize these back rack stickers that they sent me, get all that stuff put on there, and I think that'll, uh, that'll look good too. So I'm gonna get these center punched and drill eight more holes. All right, here it is the next day. I got all the holes drilled, and I even uh, covered the bare metal with some gloss black paint just to kind of seal that up. I got the back rack stickers put on. Um, this one over here, I've already started wiring in the amber LEDs. We'll get this out of the way. We'll have a look. Got all the wires uh, pretty well protected, and they're going to route down through where that adapter piece goes into the stake pocket in the truck. I've already verified there's enough room. Got the lights installed in there. Tested them already with the battery, and they work. And I've got the lead-in harness made, and I'm going to go and uh, take this end and wire it down to the existing light bars that I put on the truck in the last video using these takeouts right here that I ran out of the back end of the light bars for the sole purpose of putting more lights on the truck. And I'm gonna make the connection from these circuits up to the riser brackets with these sealed two pin connectors. They're waterproof. They should uh, keep the connections clean from any of the road salt or uh, road grime that's gonna get kicked up under here. So, and again, keeping all the wire colors uniform makes it a lot easier to put together that way and not have uh, some circuits crossed up. 
And now I've got both of the riser brackets installed on the truck. Tonneau cover's back on, everything fit well and nothing interfered. You can see here I've got some electrical connectors routed up through those stake pockets. I brought power, like I said, from my light bars down below. So that when I put the rack on, all I need to do is just hook all the connectors up and everything should be good to go. These will also make uh, removing that rack a lot easier to do in the future, should I choose to do so. And wiring the lights into the rack now. I know it looks like a mess up here, but trust me, method of the madness. Started out by putting some rubber grommets in these half inch holes on the bottom to protect where the wires are gonna pass up in there. And I have the running lights wired in right now. Got all those done. Again, another grommet out here, protecting the wires where they come out this side. So right now I'm working on the three brake and signal lights on the right side here. You can see good uh, soldered connections, shrink tube ready to go on there. Seals it up really well. No scotch locks or crimp connectors here. I like to do it right. So I'll finish up those three lights and then do these. And then next step will be getting the uh, takeout connectors put on where the wires come out of the rack down here to tie into what's on the truck right now. And speaking of those connectors, here we go. We got the two on this side and then the one on this side. Everything in place, ready to just plug into what's already coming up through the stake pockets on the truck. All the lights are in place. I've already tested them with a 12 volt battery. Everything should be good to go. So I'll get this put on the truck and we'll see what it looks like. And here's what it looks like fully installed. Like I said before, I'm glad I was able to keep the back rack stickers in conjunction with the lights that I had enough room there. I think that looks nice. All the red LEDs down across the bottom. Fits pretty well, I think. All wired in, ready to test. So for a quick rundown of how all this is gonna work, if you only wanna have the factory equipped exterior lights uh, in operation, you just leave all the upfitter switches off and just uh, cycle the main light switch. That way, none of this extra stuff that I added would be on. So now, if I wanted to run with some more of the exterior lights on, um, we go to the upfitter switches, and if you remember back from the um, prior video where I made the light bars that go beneath the doors, I wired them into the AUX3 switch, and since I used the power and ground takeouts from those light bars to run those amber lights that are on the sides of the riser brackets for the uh, back rack, you just slip up AUX3. Now all those amber lights are on below the doors, plus the ones that are on the riser brackets. And now if I want to turn on those red running lights that I just installed on the back rack, I wired those into the AUX4 switch, flip it up, amber light comes on, now those red runners are on. And finally, to enable those red LEDs that I also put into the back rack to serve as uh, brake lights and signal lights, I'll quickly explain how I had to do it. I couldn't use the upfitter switches for that because these switches only switch power. And the way I had to wire those, those uh, brake and signal LEDs, the switch would have had to be on the ground side of the circuit. So uh, to get power for a good brake signal or a left turn or a right turn, the easiest way I found to do that was to uh, tap off of this, the circuits that went back to my seven and four pin connectors at the back of the truck that would run uh, trailer lights. So I just tapped uh, off of those circuits to get a good brake signal and left turn and right turn signal. So I basically ran the power from, those, uh, from that trailer connector up through the LEDs that are on the back rack and then brought a wire back behind the dash here. And I'll show you. I hid this little round rocker switch down in this cubby hole right here. And what that does is it switches the ground side of those circuits and completes the path, enabling those lights. So whenever I wanna have the brake and signal lights in operation, just pop that little rocker switch up and all of those lights on the rear will be functioning now too. So that's the full rundown on all the lights I put on the 2016 Ford F-350. Started out with those cab lights up there, then did those lights down below the doors, moved on to the back rack. And I like how I was able to wire them into those upfitter switches and then that round rocker switch. So if I don't want to have this many lights on, I just don't have that many switches on. If I only want to have these red ones on the back on, just flip up AUX4. If I only want to have these amber ones on the side, flip up AUX3. If I don't want to have any of them on, don't flip any on. So I kind of like the versatility of it. 
And I think that's about it for adding lights to the F-350. So guys, it's getting dark. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave comments below. And I hope to see you back again.